Hi guys, how's it going? Bora here. Today I want to talk about uh, Ramadan. Ramadan and uh, fitness and bodybuilding. So over the years, I'm 25 years old now, and over the years I have developed a specific strategy <laughs> from listening to advice of others and also trying out some things myself. So I have basically I have three methods for Ramadan. Uh, as a general tip, you can you can always uh, use Ramadan also uh, for your own personal gains, not only for your religion gains, but also for your uh, bodybuilding gains. Uh, it's very hard to put on any size, uh, any quality muscle size. It's not impossible, but it's harder. Uh, but if you are already uh, in a diet mode uh, because of Ramadan, you can also always use Ramadan also for your own diet to lose weight, to lose fat, to be more exact. So there are three ways that I uh, have come up with. So the first, I've even written it down. The first is uh, if you are a regular guy and you don't want to diet, or if you want to do a light diet, you can, if it's iftar, you can eat with your family, praying, etc. Then wait uh, one to two hours, so just eat normal with your family, then wait one to two hours, then you go train after two hours, then when you come home, you eat another meal, you go to sleep, and then for sahur, if you st stand up again, if you wake up again, you eat another, you eat breakfast with your family. So it's very family oriented. Uh, it's like many people do it, I guess, and it's also the way I did it a few a few years back. So then uh, I wanted to do a diet, and I wanted to lose uh, more weight. So I came up with another plan. So it's number two. So I waited until it was iftar, and then I ate some light food, light food like a soup with some bread or fruits with whey protein, or egg whites with fruit, or, or white fish. Something that digests very, very, uh, very fast and is also not hard on your stomach. It's, so it's after one hour you should, feel, uh, you should feel good and able to train. You also need to drink a lot of water here. Then you only have to wait one hour, then you can go and work out. And if you want, uh, you can also have after you work out, you can have your post-workout nutrition, like your whey protein, and and you can even use, uh, instead of maltodextrin, like many people use, or sugars, you can also use dates, like four or five dates after you have finished working out. Then you can wait again one hour and eat another regular meal when you're home. So that's because you, uh, on iftar you only had a light meal, and after working out you only had a shake, you may be hungry right now <laughs> and uh, then you can eat a normal regular meal like beef with rice or whatever your mom cooked that day or your father or yourself. It's always best to prepare it yourself or help with your family. Okay, and then uh, when you get, get up in the morning for sahur, uh, you can eat slow digesting proteins. Uh, like uh, yogurt, beef, lentils, maga quark, casein protein, that's all these things are slow digesting proteins. So they, because they are slow digesting, they are some a sort of time release protein so that you're, over the course of the day, your, uh, your body will have protein available all the time and you won't go catabolic as fast. But that's in, I will talk about those catabolic and anabolic phases in, an, in another video because it's very complicated and it's not as easy. But uh, research also has shown that it's for maintaining muscle and losing more fat, it's best to eat, if you know that you are not going to eat for a long time, it's best to eat a slow digesting protein. So that was the way number two. But now, because I don't have much time and uh, I have a lot of studies and I also, yeah, I'm a little bit stressed, uh, I do it in the third way. And I would not recommend, I would not recommend that because it's, 
Yeah, it's pretty hard actually. So uh, after uh, bef this time, you don't eat on iftar. Uh, or moreover, you you eat on iftar, but before iftar, you go work out. You work out before iftar. That's the third way. I wouldn't recommend that because it's very hard. Only do this if you are very experienced and if you have people nearby who can uh, help you if you collapse or anything. Do not do this if you know that you are gonna uh, fail or that you are gonna collapse or anything like that. Don't do this uh, if you are caring for your health. Only do this if you know what you are doing and don't push yourself too hard. I'm very experienced with training so I know how hard to push myself and when to stop. So for me it's okay. For you maybe not. If you're a child don't do this. So my way is one or two hours before iftar. Um, today actually I'm gonna go two hours before iftar. I will start working out. Like uh, I will do uh, a day with upper body training, then I will rest a day, then I will do a day of lower body training. I only do weights, I don't do any cardio. Back in the days I did some uh, cardio exercise on my off days. So if you work out one day with weights, the second day you can do some cardio and the third day you, you can do some uh, weights again, weightlifting. So back to the plan. So as I said before, uh, two hours before iftar you go work out. Then when it's iftar or when I'm done working out, I eat some dates and also drink a protein shake or if I have a meal prepared, I will uh, eat that meal instead of dates and protein shake. And uh, yeah, if I uh, drink a shake, I will wait uh, one hour until I'm home and then I will eat a regular meal. Then most of the time I go sleep or if I'm up longer, I will stay up longer and then I will eat another meal. So and that meal is also a slow digesting meal. And sometimes if I can get the energy to wake up, I will eat another uh, on sour, I will eat another regular meal or a casein protein shake or anything like uh, milk, yogurt, magakrak, something like that. So if you guys uh, want to support me, you can click the links down below. I also have uh, a link to my Amazon store. You can you can take a look. I also added some descriptions on some products if you like them. And uh, if you need any consulting or diet plans, you can always go and visit my website, my store. I offer plenty plenty of services. So I hope to see you guys next time. So comment below, like the video if you like the video, and I'll see you guys next time.